The more owners the car had had, the more damage the car is. This tweet is not about cars. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. And is that Jason Statham as their profile picture? Oh, God. <laughs> I can't take these alpha male pages. I feel like every day there's like 10 new ones <laughs> that pop up out of nowhere. Like, hello, everybody. I am a man. And this is how you, what, have a good relationship? <laughs> yeah, don't take advice from these pages. They well and truly <laughs> don't know what they're talking about. And I think that goes without saying... Welcome back, guys. Hope you're doing amazing, and I hope you're ready for some more Not How Girls Work. This video is gonna be an absolute train wreck, <laughs> and I'm so excited for it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really appreciate it, and let's get into it. Enjoy. Oh my god, another alpha male Twitter page. This one has Brad Pitt as their profile picture. They're literally just like, what famous guy... <laughs> <laughs> that is such a man. Can I make my profile picture? Unpopular opinion. As a man, your future is all that matters. Because men are born to build. As a woman, your past is all that matters. Because women are born to preserve and nurture. Yeah, like, I feel like we've read worse alpha male Twitter page posts. <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know, like, this is still terrible. The importance of taking a driving course before actually driving. So they got a car and immediately crashed it. And I'm pretty sure we all know where these comments are going. Yeah, nine minutes of women driving. Women and then a coffee cup. And then women and another coffee cup. Yeah, like the top comment says. So when a man crashes, it's just an accident. But when a woman does... It's because she's a woman? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Yeah, because men generally go for high-paying jobs like doctor or engineer, etc. But women go for lesser-paying jobs like female doctors and female engineers. I hope this helps. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you had me in the first half. Yeah, I started reading that and was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> but no. It was all a joke. I went to a women's convention when I was in middle school and they showed us a lot of rules from where to start eating, how to hold and use a fork or spoon and knife, to small talk during the dinner. Stuff like, if you want bread, you have to cut it in small pieces with your knife and fork, no more than an inch wide. And when served soup, you must taste it at least three times, even if you know you're not gonna lie like it. Don't slurp and don't fill your spoon. You don't want to seem hungry. Oh, and even if you like the food, you should never clear the plate. Always leave something to be discarded because ladies don't eat as much as men. It'll look bad if you eat the same or more than male guests. Yeah, well, one of those things that back in the day probably seemed normal, but looking back it's like, what the hell? <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Women will literally take a mountain of pills a day and go to my therapy instead of settling down and raising a family. What? <laughs> Don't act like that's going to fix all of your problems. Is that what they're trying to say? Like, oh, what you really need is to settle down and raise a family. You don't just have children to cheer yourself up. <laughs> like, that's not a good idea. Wait, so what are we looking at here, though? ADHD medication, depression medication, BPD, anxiety and sleep, heart, binge eating and skin picking, and anxiety. And what? People should not take care of their mental health. They should just go and raise a family. <laughs> well, this entire subreddit is just a really bad advice. Men really think it's okay to live like this. Women hate how little it takes for us to be happy. I don't 
don't think women hate that, you know? Like, I'm sure they're joking, but if they're not, I'm pretty sure women don't hate it if that makes you happy. When girls roast you, they don't even say funny stuff. They just be hurtful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, wow, that really caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh, that one's kind of sad, though. Giving birth isn't as painful as being kicked in the nuts. <laughs> oh, are you joking? Um, have you had a baby? No, but over the years, women say, let's have another one. I never hear a man saying, come on, hit me in the nuts again. <laughs> that is the stupidest logic I've ever seen. Let's think about this for a second, okay? When you have a baby, what do you get from that experience? <laughs> you get a child. Now, what do you get when you get kicked in the nuts? Nothing. <laughs> Does it make a little bit more sense now? Why nobody says, can you kick me in the nuts again? They're not really comparable experiences, you know? <laughs> oh, like surely they're joking. Ah, yes, another really bad shower thought. If you had a dollar for every woman that found you unattractive, you'd soon be attractive. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, oh, all women care about is money. How many times do we need to read this? Okay, so they're on their phone basically all the time. And then they play a video game. Are you playing your stupid games again? You're kind of addicted. Like, yeah, okay, some people are definitely like this. But not everybody is. Like the top comment says, Well, some women, yes, but also some men. Definitely not a fair general statement about women, but okay. Yeah, and like, to be fair, we don't know if that's what their intention was. Like, I don't know if they're trying to say that all women are like this. They're probably not trying to say that. I hope not anyway. Have you ever noticed how common it is for professional women to have no intellectual interests outside of their field? Like, you mentioned something about history or astronomy or even mundane household tech to a female doctor and they have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, no, I've never noticed that. The top comment, stars, toasters, never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Astronomy? I don't even know what these words mean. <laughs> Girls with maximum hygiene and makeup. Boys with minimal hygiene and no makeup. Oh yeah, well, good meme. <laughs> Let's just be super rude for no reason. Like, what the hell? It's not funny. <laughs> and also, it isn't true, but it's just trying to be mean. Everyone knows all girls born after 1993 can't cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge their phone, twerk, be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. <laughs> yeah, I like how these are getting less and less serious. I know I'm not a girl born after 1993, but I love cooking. Deep down, every woman wants a man who will take charge and lead them, whether she wants to admit it or not. It's what makes us feel safe and secure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I feel this certain way, so that must mean that everybody feels the same. I've noticed this as well. I believe it's because of biological differences. Men put 100% of their effort into something 80% of the time. But women put 80% of their effort into something 100% of the time. It's the difference between a hunter and a homemaker. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> and I think we need some wholesome memes. Friendship. Internet friendship. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Oh yeah, 100%. That's so nice. Nobody notices my work. Not today or tomorrow, I know. But believe in yourself, that day will come. Oh, that's right. It's genuinely like that.
that though. You know, like everything might be super stagnant for ages and then out of nowhere, it'll just take off. So yeah, definitely don't give up. Oh my God, yay, these ones. You're a good listener, said Tiny Dragon. Listening has never landed me in trouble, replied Big Panda. Wow, this video got really deep and meaningful really fast. <laughs> so nice though. Which is more important, asked a Big Panda. The journey or the destination? The company, said Tiny Dragon. Wow, that was so fun. I had such a good time today. I hope you did as well. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day today goes to... You know who you are. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Hey, Vincey, I hope you're having a great day. Just a wondering, okay? <laughs> oh my God, that video was so annoying. I'm sure you guys have seen that. In the last Choosing Beggars video, there was somebody that after every message said, just a wondering, okay? <laughs> and it was so infuriating. But yeah, thank you. I am having a great day today. How could I not be? It's 12 o'clock right now, so it's a lunchtime, which means food and the Simpsons, and I've spent the morning recording videos, so, you know, everything is going awesome. And I hope everything's going awesome with you as well. I really appreciate that. Just wondering, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.